I do want to bring in senior writer Zach Lowe because in your weekly column, Zach, Draymond Green, he got top billing. Why was that? Everyone talks about Draymond Green's defense, and yeah, he might be the best defense player in the NBA, but a big part of Golden State trying to reclaim its throne is that he's become a threat on offense again, and not as a three-point shooter. That's over, but he's attacking the rim. Look at this. When defenses ignore him, look at Paul George. He's not even pretending to guard Draymond. Draymond knows that. Draymond's seen that defense a million times. Look at all that open space. Instead of just sitting there waiting for a handoff, Boom, he's going to drive and he's going to drive hard. And that opens up this swing, swing sequence. Andrew Wiggins having the best season of his career, by the way, under the radar, hits a three. And that's the thing with Draymond. He's shooting 60% at the basket this season. And he's attacking the rim with confidence. He's having some acrobatic finishes. He looks bouncier. And look, they can't get where they want to go if he's a total non-threat on offense if he's just a passer he's got to be able to score 10 12 points attack the rim and he's doing that and it's a huge underrated factor I think in why they're 21 and 4 or whatever astronomical record they have <laughs> well and Draymond has said it's gotten quite a bit of attention right that he wants to get back to that defensive player of the year caliber but he also wants to get, to get back to that all-star caliber Draymond he said and so far on both ends of the floor we're starting to see that Zach one other bit of Warriors news according to Woj Steve Kerr will replace Greg Popovich as the head coach of USA Basketball up next the World Cup and then the 2024 Paris Olympics and I cannot wait thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus